What's up, everybody? It's your boy, American Idiot Fan 2019 Productions, back with another video of NASCAR Thunder 2004 Season Mode. And as requested by Dylan Murray, I think I said I was gonna race the waste management sponsor for my race, but he wanted me to do the and he wa and he wanted me to do the Denver Broncos colors. So. Man, this one is for you. And as requested by Racing Wolf 2003, I think he said Carolina Panthers colors. I'm running Denver Broncos colors for this race. Um, yeah. So, that's about it. And this is the last race where I'm going to run my waste management sponsor. Sponsor. And we are racing at my favorite mile and a half. Texas! Oh god, it's gonna get annoying. Yeah, it's kind of like calibrating uh, an HD TV, like with the sink. Well, guys, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta go get qualifying over and out. And in an unexpected turn of events, I got the pull. Sarcastically speaking. It was a bit too high, so I had to adjust the ratio down to 370. The last, the final drive. I'm going to let him take it. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas. And today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Samsung Radio Shack 500. What's in store for these drivers today? Texas is a tough track for these drivers to get a hang of. It's very fast, but has a very tight groove. Some of these cars may add some paint to the walls here before the race is over. The 83 car is beating and banging on just about everyone, but lately he's really had it in for Ryan Thank you. Newman. He'd be better off if he would oh, let things right. cool down. It's a race, I'm not a demolition see. derby. How about the consistency shown by Sterling Marlin? Yeah. Man, he is amazing. And what a charge towards the championship that gives him. You don't even need that many wins if you're finishing in the top ten every week. That's true. David Green really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And how frustrating must that be? You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days and gain the valuable points you need. Those he's starting 37th, and he's in, 37 in the car number 37. Let's not do that. All right, I'm going to lead them down to the green flag is in the air. We are underway here at Texas for the Samsung Radio Shack 500. Michael Waltrip with the DEI power going to going to try and get past me, but he's not going to have enough time to do it as so I'm going to block to the inside lane and my car's going to go up the racetrack. Michael Waltrip going to try and do it again, but I block my car, my, like, I, I do it again. Oof. There goes my ride. Just kidding. No damage done whatsoever. And Michael Waltrip's gonna get the run, and he gets the lead. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop back to third. And I'm gonna push rival Jeff. I'm gonna share draft rival Jeff Gordon to the lead. How about it? For whatever reason, Jeff Gordon just moved up the racetrack. Roger that, Captain. I'm gonna block Jeff Gordon as I go dive to the inside lane as he's about to get the as he was about to get the run on me. Now we go down the back stretch. Come on, car move. Oh, oh, Jeff Gordon. He's got the run. I don't know if he's gonna be able to capitalize on it or not. 
and he doesn't capitalize, and I, and of course I maintain my lead, and I'm defending it left and right. For veteran difficulty, the AI are still pretty competitive. That's, that's pretty good. I've been racing a lot on Legend, and I've been garnering, like, like a, a bunch of wins. I'm, I, either the AI are real, like, are very not the either the AI or like basically the legend is kind of like veteran or I'm just getting a, like a lot better at the game oh Kurt Busch has a run on the inside and he's gonna try and dump me and that's gonna j give Jeff Gordon the lead and and we're as we go halfway through this race I forgot to say that the yellow flag is out and now it's a race to the line I'm gonna bump Jeff Gordon out of the way losing I, I don't know like 30 of my ally points and the caution is now out. Ooh, it was caused by Jack Sprague. Just spun out for the purpose of bringing out a caution. How about it? <sighs> Great. I guess Jack Sprague just really needed a caution. Woo! There you go. There's your season standings as we as we roll right now. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. We are underway again. With four laps to go, I have a I have a really good car going into turns one and two. Jeff Gordon right behind me with Kurt Busch following Kurt Busch and I think it's Mark Martin battling for the third. The Roush guys. Or later known as Roush Fenway. Um, if... Uh, I'm gonna... I don't even know when the Roush Fenway merger happened. I might have heard of how the Roush Fenway merger happened. Roush Racing, like, merged with Fenway Park or something of the like. Didn't I hear that Roush Fenway is closing its Xfinity team? Yeah. Number 60. Eh. Oof. As we come to the stripe with two more laps to go. I am I am just cru steadily cruising along. There's no one to blame because this is one of my best mile and a half ovals. I blame myself for having a lot of practice in this at these tracks and a lot of background knowledge with the EA Sports NASCAR games out of all the EA NASCAR games I've played with one more lap to go this is probably the best in the series EA clearly knew what they were doing when they did this game not that they didn't with any of the other games but this one really takes the cake as the best because we head down the back stretch with a lap with half a lap to go Mark Martin and Kurt Busch cruising behind in the second and third, respectively, Martin and Busch. And as I come to the stripe, I am going to win the Samsung Radio Shack 500. Couldn't have said it better myself, man. All right, let's get the victory celebration going. Time to do that full throttle victory lap. Or laps, if you'd like to think of it like that. Yeah, boy. God, when is my win streak going to end? That's that's a pretty big question, if I'm going to be honest. Because I am just on a rail. All right. Here's the full throttle victory lap. Yeet. God darn done it again. 
there were only a few lead changes. To be honest, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. It just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you can really dominate a NASCAR Winston Cup race. True. The 83 car ran in clean air pretty much all race long. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. Mm. He led the most laps, and more importantly, he led the last lap, which gives him the victory. If I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, I led every single one. All right, let's go to victory lane for the for the victor for the celebration. And I actually gained a couple allies. How about that? Let's take a look at the... What am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? Okay. Eh, may as well. Why not? Alright, so obviously I came out first. The Roush boys, Martin and Bush, came out third, second and third. Mar Sterling Marlin and Rusty Wallace came out in the top five. Jeff Gordon and Jeff Burton in 6th and 7th, Tony Stewart and Michael Waltrip in ninth, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in 10th. How about that? Good race. I'm really excited for this next race. We're going to be racing at like one of my favorite tracks, Talladega. Of course, my favorite track. That isn't a mile and a half. Because you know I love my mile and a half ovals. Alright, let's... As soon as this finishes saving, I'm going to check the season standings. Let's take a look. Uh, there we go. Obviously, Derek Wibley is in first with that perfectly gold 83. Ryan Newman... He's in second, Tony Stewart in third, Mark Michael Waltrip in fourth, Mark Martin in fifth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in sixth, Jimmy Johnson in seventh, Ricky Rudd in eighth, Jeff Gordon in ninth, and Sterling Marlin is in the top ten. Where? Ooh, no, that's not good. Harvick dropped to twelve. All right, so. That about wraps it up for this episode of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 Season Mode. If you would like to see more, then please give this video a thumbs up and comment what you what scheme I want you want me to run for the next race after this. If I don't get any comments before before I post the next like before I actually start the next race, I'm just gonna run the regular McDonald's scheme. Speaking of which. And yeah, yeah, the, for real, that's uh, about going to wrap it up for this episode of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 season mode. If you would like to see more, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and like seeing NASCAR Thunder 2004 stuff in your sub box. Until the errands 499 at Talladega. This is Yo Boy, American Idiot Fan, 2019 production, signing out. And I will see you at Talladega. Peace!